Hello, welcome back to Soulprint. This is another Answer Your Questions short video. I hope you guys are enjoying these. Um, they're kind of fun to do. Um, it's quite different than my normal format, but there were so many good questions and I thought this is the only way I'm going to get through them. So I hope you're enjoying them. Um, okay, so this question was, what will happen with the revelation that Giuliani and Trump were selling pardons for $2 million? All right. Let's take a look at that. Now, I did talk about it, I think, a little bit in a very recent video called Legal Woes, if I'm not mistaken. But let's just take a look. I'm going to use the cards um, and see what we know about where that may lead. So logic tells me, right, that the people who should be looking at that would be the Department of Justice, Jack Smith. But what do I know? Here we go. For those of you curious and wondering, um, the rains have started to come to Alberta. The temperature has lowered. Um, it's not anywhere near as smoky here where I am, where I am which is just west of the city of Edmonton. Um, there is some concern that the rains may bring some thunderstorms and that kind of thing. Um, but I think by and large, we're sort of grateful for the rain um, and hope that it can reduce the number of fires and frankly not cause any more. All right, let's take a look, shall we? At. Sorry, my cards got somehow inverted, and I don't do inverted readings, I just intuitively know. So it kind of makes me a little batty when they're inverted. Okay, here we go. Um, selling pardons investigation, selling pardons investigation, selling pardons investigation. And, you know, this is a thing. I actually remember hearing about that quite a long time ago, but it was sort of one of those things that got lost in the haze. But there was talk about um, pardons being up for sale kind of thing. Okay. So, yeah, you know, what you've got here is um, a man who has no boundaries in Trump. And in Giuliani, somebody who was frankly kind of desperate for money. Um, and so, yeah, the two of them were trying to figure out how to make this thing work according to the cards. I'm not making any accusations. But it's going to come under investigation. I suspect this has this will come be part of Jack Smith's territory. Um, from what I understand, conversations about the pardons were not recorded, um, unlike a significant number of other conversations within the Giuliani um, lawsuit by Nicole Dumphy, maybe? God, I'm so bad with names. Um, okay. So what I'm getting here is, yeah, there's definitely going to be um, an investigation in this. There's going to be an assessment about this. It's not going to end well for either one of those guys. Um, yeah, they were just trying to, you know, figure out how to make it work for them. But the reality is, is that... Like, this is the thing, right? Giuliani and Trump, kind of like, you've got two outsized egos in the same room trying to function. And I think on some level, as much as it may pay me to say this, Giuliani, I don't know, is smarter than Trump, but he's definitely more politically savvy than Trump. Trump. And so... It, really, when the two of them get along, it's a lot of squawking and bickering. And so this was just one last thing that they didn't need to come out, and it came out. And both of them are going to be in a defensive position. But you know what? 
page of cups. I think there's going to be more information coming out on that. There may very well even be, um, you know, somebody who, um, wanted to pay the $2 million and didn't get a part in or, I mean, if you got one for $2 million, you're not going to advertise that. Um, but I think that's going to be investigated. And um, somebody wanted to know if that would make the pardons like nullified, if it would nullify them. And I'm not no legal beagle. I don't have a clue, but I can tell you energetically what I'm hearing is once that pardon is issued, it's issued. Could be wrong. I'm no legal expert, but that's the inside of the information I'm getting. Thank you so much for being here. I'm just um, so glad you're taking some time this week to spend with me. Bye-bye.